President Biden's choices for how to execute a withdrawal from Afghanistan were severely constrained by conditions created by his predecessor. Here now to discuss this is a veteran who just, know, just knows how grave the situation is. Andy Stump is a retired Navy SEAL and member of SEAL Team 6. The name of his podcast is Change Agents. Andy, when I'm watching this, I'm thinking about what about the men that served? What was your reaction to this? Um, it's a challenging subject, I think, for people that served in Afghanistan. And I think we have to take a holistic approach and remember that it spanned 20 years. Um, from a leadership perspective, to answer your question directly, as a leader, you know, I, I look at what happened in Afghanistan. We have to aggregate the responsibility across all four administrations that were in office during that time period. But the decision maker in this seat at the time needs to be held accountable for the decisions that they make. So if you find yourself in a situation where you feel constrained by a previous administration, the responsible move is to actually change the conditions on the ground before you execute right. and move forward. So when you're in the seat, you need to be held responsible for the things that you say and you do and the decisions that you make, specifically at a national level. And those that were in the seat before you need to be held responsible for their actions as well. Absolutely. And I also think two things. Number one, if, if you want to blame the previous administration, go the whole way. They said it was going to be conditions-based. The conditions didn't say it was okay to go. And number two, if you do want to blame the previous administration, then why did you reverse the border policy, the energy policy, the foreign policy, and everything else? Uh, I want to take a cut from your podcast because there's nothing value, more valuable for me and my audience than to hear two people who fight in the war, who save people during this war, who are there on the ground talking about it. And here's you with Chad Robichaux. Picture yourself as like a 20-year-old uh, humanitarian worker. She has her blue passport. She has to go to show it to a, a Taliban fighter with an AK-47 who's murdering people in the street, by the way, because they were cutting people's body parts off in the street. That's just not going to happen. So for the White House to say to the Americans, hey, you mustn't want to leave unless you're going to willing to go through this checkpoint in front of this Taliban. And then you get, if you could get past, now you're going to make it through a crowd of 100,000 people. And the level of chaos was like people were literally being stomped and trampled to death uh, in, in, the, in the mud. The president doesn't want to take a briefing on that, let alone hear things like that. But I think he needs to, especially the horror that's likely going on right now. Andy. Yeah, you know, there's my specifically my career. I understand at a much greater level, a, a tactical perspective um, from a tactical perspective, using the airport um, in Kabul was a mistake. Um, and at a strategic level, which is air well beyond what I was breathing when I was in the military, the uh, air base at Bagram would have been a much better location to actually facilitate this withdrawal. Um, and I, there were many mistakes that were led along the way. I think the surrender of the Kabul airfield will, choose, will prove itself to be a huge strategic error for our country. But we set conditions on the withdrawal that made it very difficult for people who did want to leave. Um, Chad talks about uh, in the episode further on where they basically outsourced the uh, perimeter security of the oh. airfield in Kabul to the Taliban. And so you're asking allies, people that fought with us, who bled alongside us, who sweat alongside us, to go through checkpoints that were manned by the enemy that we were fighting. I don't see how that can be considered reasonable. Uh, Chains Agents, name of the podcast. Check it out. Andy, thanks for your service. We know how well you guys fought. You can't be uh, blamed for how bad leadership was. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. You got yeah, it. Appreciate uh, it. Meanwhile. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.